name is Frank. I'm a singing voice teacher. I help people and singers like you to find their singing voices and take them to the apex of their singing career. And right away, I'll be discussing a topic called the physiology of the voice. Amazing God, amazing God, you do marvelous things. Amazing God. You do my veloc things amazing God. Now, ordinarily or literally, what is physiology? It simply means the study of the way in which living organisms function. So we are studying the way living organisms function. Now what then is physiology of the voice? It can be defined as the study of the way in which our voice functions. Can be defined as the study of the way in which our voices function. Now right away, uh, I'd like to say something here. Then, if you know this topic very well, it will help you in singing properly, to help you in, in manipulating the words uh, uh, because, you, you, because you've known your makeup. Now, you definitely wake up. Once you've known your makeup, you will wake up. So this topic is, will help you to know how the sound leaves your body, it will help you to, to know uh, everything about your voice as in vocal anatomy and so on and so forth. Now, how do we create sound? Sound is created when we set our vibrating mass into motion with air. We set air into motion with the vibrating mass of our vocal membrane. Wow! That is saying that without a breath, there's no way you can sing, and without the vibrating mass, there's no way you can sing. So you need vibration, and also you need air. So the two, they go together. They go pari pursue together. They go, they are sequenon to each other. So for us to make sound, we need air, and also we need the vibrating mass of our vocal membrane. Now let's place your hands right here. Place your hands like this, and also place your hands here. Now, just say anything. Now, if you're doing that, you're watching me now. If you're doing that, you find that the air is hitting the back of your hand as you're talking. And also, there's vibration here, right away. Now, the same thing, when we sing, we'll find the same thing. The air hitting the back of our hands, and also this region, this pharynx, is vibrating. Is that okay? So now, in singing again, it sounds like that. Let's sing now and see how it goes. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice. Now, if you sang, you notice the air hitting the back of your hand, and also there's vibration here at this region. That's how it seems. For us to make sound, we need the vibrating mass, and also we need air. Now, right away, the voice itself is like a synthesis between a wind instrument and a string instrument. Now, for the string instrument, there's vibration. Why? For the uh, air, you need a trumpet, which allows you to blow air inside. So without air, that instrument cannot make sound. That's to say the trumpet. The same thing on the, on the bass guitar, on the string instrument. If there's no vibration on the strings, then there'll be no sound at all. Now, just look at, look at me right away. Just below your chain, uh, you find a bomb here. A bomb is a projection on the surface level. And also, uh, this, this place is called the Adam's apple, and it's, it can be called again the larynx. The larynx itself contains so many muscles. We have what we call the cricothyroid muscles, which is responsible for tensing the vocal folds. We have what we call the, 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 the vocalis muscles, which is responsible again for, for relaxing the vocal folds. And also, we have what we call the teratinoid muscles, which is responsible again for relaxing the vocal folds. Now, having known this now, I said the larynx contains so many muscles, and among these, you find the vocal fold. The, the vocal folds are, are, are a pair of muscles facing each other. Now, when we breathe, the vocal folds open, and when we sing or talk, the vocal folds they come together. Now, how are they called the, the vocal folds adduction? Vocal fold adduction. Vocal fold adduction is the come together of the two of the folds. For us to sing, 
we need this force coming together. So the coming together of this force is referred to as what they call vocal food adduction. Now, what, when breathing, you need to understand that uh, you must understand the concept of what they call vocal force abduction. The first one is adduction, vocal food adduction, while the second one is called vocal food abduction. Now, the vocal fluid needs to come together, and air, when air passes through them, it vibrates. But in breathing, you, you, you abduct. While in singing, you adduct. Adduct and abduct. So, in breathing, you find that out your fluid here, you, uh, there's no vibration at all in breathing. That's why when you breathe, just, just, place, your, just place your hands here and breathe now. Now you find that, that there's no vibration at all. Now that's what's called the vocal fluid abduction. Now, because they, they've given way, the furs they've given way. Now, in vocal fluid abduction, you find out that the furs they, they are together, air passing it, it begins to vibrate. That's what's called the vocal fluid abduction. Now, you must know again as a singer, you must know what's called the hyper abduction and hypo abduction i don't, I don't want to go into that one right away but uh in subsequent time i'll visit that one now we have what are called vocal anatomy i'll take you through the vocal anatomy so that you can understand how your body works when singing now we have what are called the larynx the larynx is the voice box and it's here this region it's the organ which enables us to talk now we have again what we call the pharynx. The pharynx is the throat which goes above your larynx. It now divides into what we call the laryngopharynx. The laryngopharynx. Now which is above the, the, the larynx. Now we have what we call the oropharynx which goes into the mouth and to the mouth. And we have what we call the nasopharynx which goes into the nose. Wow, that's very wonderful. So you, if you know these uh, uh, organs, it will help you in uh, manipulating notes right away. The next one is called the trachea. The trachea is the windpipe, is the tube that connects your lungs to your throat. Right, the tube that connects your lungs to your throat and the uh, uh, larynx sits on top of the trachea. The next one now is called the esophagus. The esophagus is your, is your food pipe and it's just behind your trachea and also behind your larynx. Now, the pharynx carries both food and water. It carries your air. And air passes through the larynx and trachea while food, uh, while, while food passes through your esophagus. The next one is called your spinal colon. The spinal colon is just behind your esophagus. And, and if, you can, if you, you can press the back of your a, a neck to feel the spinal column. Why the last one again on the leaves here is called the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a doomed shaped muscle, it's a chief organ for respiration. So the diaphragm seat actually sits uh, at the base of your rib cage. When you inhale, it goes down, and when you exhale, it comes back to its original size. Now, having known these whole concepts, now how it works as air leaves your lungs, comes out from your lungs through your, your trachea, it goes to your throat, let's just say your pharynx, then uh, the air makes your vocal folds to vibrate. Now, once the vocal fold vibrates, they alternately trap the air and release air. Each release sends a little puff of air to the pharynx. And each puff of air is the beginning of a sound wave. Now the sound wave is enhanced as it travels through the pharynx and by the time it leaves the mouth it becomes voice. Wow, that's very wonderful. That is how it works. Now let me get your attention here right away. Now the sound made by the vocal fluid is quick. It's a short high pitch sound. Now we have the call amplifier, which amplify the, vo the sound made by the vocal folds. Now we have the uh, oral cavity, we have the nasal cavity, 
we also have what we call the pharyngeal cavity. Now this cavity amplifies the sound made by the vocal folds. Now this amplifier are referred to what we call resonators. Now we have what we call the upper resonators and we have the lower resonators. Right away. Now the upper resonators actually uh, uh, comprise the uh, nose. There's a space or a cavity, there's a cavity right down. There's a, there's a space in your nose. Now, in your head, there's a space there, and the sound resonates from that region. That's what they call the upper resonators. Now, we have to call the lower resonators, which uh, comprise your mouth, your pharynx, and also your chest cavities. So these are the two types of resonators that we have. Now right away, we're heading to what we call the, 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 the futures of the upper resonators. Now, this, the sound from this region, from the upper resonators, is bright, is sharp, is piercing. Then also, uh, how do we develop the sound from the upper resonators? Now, look at how it works. When we close our soft palate, uh, because the soft palate actually acts as a window short opener and shorter. When the soft palate shuts down, the sound resonates from the uh, nose cavity. Yes. Now let's try it now. Shut down and just uh, make sound like this. Like mm -hmm. the sound is resonating from my nose cavity. Now. The lower resonator has to do with the, 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 the chest cavity, the pharynx, and also the, 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 the mouth. How do we get sound from the uh, uh, lower resonator? It's by opening the soft pilot. When you open the soft pilot, you get the sound resonating from the oral cavity, like in. Arr. Now, if I've opened my soft pilot, the sound is now resonating from that region. If I shut down my soft pilot, the sound will resonate from my upper resonators. That is how to get to find these resonators. Now, let me shock you with this. Your mouth, the position of your mouth, your shape of your mouth, your tongue, your jaw, has a role in place. Now, the sound made by the VC or the vocal fold is squeak, a short high pitch sound. The sound is being amplified by the oral cavity, by the pharyngeal cavity, and also amplified by the nasal cavity and the oral cavity. Now, having amplified the sound, these amplifiers are called resonators. Now, we have to call this the teeth, the tongue, the mouth, the, the soft palate, they beautify the final output of the sound. Here is how it works sound made by the vocal folds. Is short, is, is a short high pitch sound, and the sound is being amplified by these cavities the oral cavities, the nasal cavities, and the pharyngeal cavity. Now, having amplified them, the next thing that follows is the resonators. Now, the sound made by this oral cavity, uh, the pharyngeal cavity, and the nasal cavity is now being fine tuned by the teeth the shape of the mouth, the soft palate, and the, the lips and the jaw. They have a role to play in these settings. The futures of the lower resonators is this. Now the sound is dull, the sound is not bright, and it sounds like oh. So the sound is not actually bright at all, it's dull. So uh, you can know it by that. How do you do that? How do you get it? You open your soft palate and uh, the sound resonates from your oral cavity and by doing that the sound comes out from your uh, 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 lower resonators I'd like to conclude by saying that uh, it's not enough to it's not enough to hear me but you have to particularize everything and see how it works for you and also I like to begin with my slogan which I like I said nothing is hard singing is not hard the hardest thing is the accumulation of many easy things that should have been done yesterday, uh, last week, and last month. Thank you very much and God bless you.
If you have any challenges, feel free to call me. My lines are on the screen and I'll gladly answer you right away. Don't keep your mouth shut because a closed mouth is a closed destiny. So feel free to give me a call and I'll gladly answer you. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Like the page, leave a comment, we'll reply your comment because your comments, they're actually important to us. <laughs>